And if, for those of you joining us, I am Twerp, he is Mixgrag. We are casting some high-level quote-unquote in-houses here today. Get some of the uh, top leaderboard players, we get them all together in a room, and we pick some teams, and we uh, try to have some fun. Yeah, the, the players are quote-unquote high-level, but the plays are not always. <laughs> no, they are not. <laughs> <laughs> now, we should see some good, good stuff here. Uh, probably going to see Cus go in bot lane. Or, well, actually, no, just kidding. Yeah, actually, he might go bot lane to punish that Mara pick. Try to keep her off the wave, prevent her mm -hmm. from farming with the hedge spell harass. Or the alternative is it could be uh, Sh Shivy and Cus top and just try and make Mikella's times the nightmare. Really, anything could go, could happen here. Cus taunting you a little bit. <laughs> well, it's, it's all right, it's all right. Alright, here we go. I have, I have faith in Cus's Ashamel, please. Just kidding, I don't. <laughs> yeah, if he plays her in the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> there was actually a guy who streamed a couple gate. months ago who did that. He Over. only played that one. <clears throat> he got on the leaderboard, it's pretty good. Break the meta. Breaking that meta. Right, we jump into game here, check out the item starts. Standard fare all around. Bunch of lives, resilience on the junglers, hunger on the range DD. Trago picking up the spell on Calm. Yeah, because you're going to get scattered top lane. Looking to get that deep ward on armor buff. Corruption. Uh -oh. Maybe get a little caught out here. Uh oh, Thinking there's organic and there's Nikkin as well. Corruption, he has blink. Will he use it though? He's trying not to. He's trying oh. to run. He will escape. Nice restraint by uh, not blinking. Yeah, definitely nice restraint. A lot of a lot of people would have just blinked for the safe play there, but Ashabel just out of range of that second Q. If she had been able to land it, he would have been a dead man, or at least blinked. Are you blind? Now Nick and getting chased out. Fluffy and Cuss. A lot of these early level one skirmishes are very important for the mm -hmm. flow of lane. Um, when people get out of position, you see Zagas is going to be kind of late to lane. So the, the pushing is going to already be in favor of Desecrator and Ashabel, which means they're going to get a faster level two. Um, which could potentially mean that an invade coming out of Kagen is possible. <laughs> King of Mass tried to get slick with those uh, Captivate tentacles, but uh, was a little too early. Organic is able to get his buff, no problem. Yeah, you can see bot lane is already under turret. Mm -hmm. Gonna have Mara forced to CS under turret while getting just hit in the face with his Ashbell Qs. Not a fun time. Gales I would on not gales be, on gales. Yeah, I would not be surprised to see uh, a lot of jungle attention bot lane to try and relieve this pressure. Although Cus has to kind of land the Qs, you know, for that to happen. Very true. Fluffy doing a nice job getting the claps on. Oh, yeah. So easy to see us with Desecrator with that clap. The new passive. Shivy gets hit with a Captivate underneath the binding. Nice uh, nice trade for the spirit side. Heads up, dumbass. See, Yagachu, Yagachu already in bottom lane. N refreshing to see a not a complete full clear from him on Stellis. Um, he's going to be looking to make an early gank, perhaps unexpectedly, That's... on this aggressive bot lane. If it's one of the... Uh... Well, one of the drawbacks to these in-houses with all these known players, they know your style, they know what you want to do, and it looks like Corruption and Nikken are bringing the attention down. Ooh, Zalgus, or Cus uses his, his blink to escape that situation. Now Fluffy looks to be in an okay spot. Here's Organic to provide support. Zalgus does not have blink, so he gets snared, and he lands the chain, and he's gonna... Yagachu, will he escape? Uh, Organic does pick it up with the Dust Devil Q from Kagen. Yeah, like I said, that pushing from top from bot lane really opened up that invade there. And Cus, you know, it looked like he was a bit overextending going a Yagachu 2v3, but he was he knew Organic was coming. Organic was was cruising too. He must have yeah. uh I wanna check out his loadout right now. Does he have Outrider? No. Just Hoplite and Ravager, but a two point five percent move speed. Um 
page as well. So, because he looked like he was cruising there, he got there pretty quick. <laughs> yeah, Outrider is a pretty popular loadout choice on Coggin. Mm -hmm. um, I know you do. I know you run it. I was watching you stream the yeah. other day, and you're like, Outrider, I, please. <laughs> yeah, I got that from Cuz. I, I didn't used to. I used to be a hater. But then I tried it, and I was like, this is pretty fun. Leave it to a must. Uh, I the see King of Masks gonna be warning top. Yeah. Those money pig boards are oh, so important against these high gang junglers. And the bot lane aggression continues. Seems our smart cam likes watching Ashibo. Yeah, now it's uh, moving up top. So now this, that was actually a fairly, I mean, obviously impactful, but a really big deal that kill on Yagachu. Uh, bot lane, uh, it's gonna set him really far behind the Salus, which is not where you want to be on Salus. With Salus, you want to be clearing the jungle fast, and making plays. You do not want to be catching up. No, especially not against Coggin. Ooh, Gatsby gets yeah. caught with an empowered Captivate, but Crucial Master G lays down a little bit of auto attack harass, but Shivy's there to trade the favor in kind. Yep, good, good play for him to punish Mikella for pushing forward like that. Lots of pings mid lane, or in the middle. I think they're pinging the, the oh, they're ward that ward out, yep. Ooh! Wow. Captivate. Looked like he threaded the needle, but, uh... Yeah, it did. He actually did hit Shivy with it. Salgus gonna be back in bot lane. Missing a money pig's ward, bot lane. Too short a ward. So that might Gatsby create some opportunities. A nice bubble combo, but gets feared for his troubles. Still a positive trade for the mortal side. Yeah, Gatsby, an old Amaranth player. Uh, we don't see a lot of uh -oh. her. Uh-oh. Nicken got stuck trying to Snapdragon over to his uh, Tree of Life. Needs some harass for it. Ooh, Cus misses the point-blank slipstream. Dings him with a gale, though. Yagachu down on that side of the map. When Zalgus gets back to lane, he maybe looks to gank. He is almost certainly going to look to gank. Um, it's not worded. It's going to be very He's fortunate. He's pinging it Cus out now, and, and Cus is trying to bait them into it. Uh-oh, or Cus actually gets his, baited into it. Yeah, his blink is on cooldown, too. Yep. Oh, the desecrated ground just misses. Another Bramble Crush. Can they escape? Cus is trying to get away. Will Yagachu go in? But oh. a beautiful storm wall knocks him back. He cannot follow up with the penance. Corruption cannot land the... Uh-oh, oh, that corruption. He slaps. Oh, no. He will get away. Uh-oh, Drago getting into trouble up top. Organic makes a nice gank, and Shivy picks up the kill. Good heads up play from Organic. Making that gank cap in top lane while the gank fails bot lane. Fluffy trying to 2v1. Doing a nice it's job funny up. because he can right now. <laughs> I, know. I know. Big creep wave. So you see Corruption coming out with that uh, Warden loadout on Zalgus. Makes him a bit safer. He's probably going to rush into rest. Yeah, we've seen, uh, what, Eveniscus plays that, uh, that yeah. Prosperity Duress, King of Masks style Zalgus, but now Corruption is in a bad spot. He is alone, he is running away from his friends. He's got nowhere to go, Fluffy picks it up with ease. Not quite sure how he got there, that, that was confusing. I don't know. <laughs> See, the jungler is doing their second rotation now, it's seven minutes, three seconds. Face buff just came up, they're both there. Yagachu finishing a little faster. Gonna probably look to see if he can clear this wave, but that's dangerous. But the knockback was probably not necessary. I think they could have just done some Desecrator to see and pretty much forced the base. I had some nice harass as well while he tries to clear yeah. the... And a, a nice early lead here for the mortal team. Mm -hmm. They keep this up. They will position themselves very nicely for the mid game. See, so four people bot lane, they're gonna look to continue pressuring this turret, perhaps take it, or they're gonna invade that armor buff. Yep, that's what they're doing. Good rotation from Gatsby. Gonna force Yagachu off the buff, secure it for organic. Yeah, the entire mortal side down at the bottom half of the map. King of Masks and Mikella were up there. Look at King of Masks gonna come and support. Mikella's gonna stay and farm, which is what I think is the appropriate play. Nope, King of Masks is now going to support the farm efforts as well. I think they're just gonna concede this lower half of the map right now to the mortal side. 
They're looking to hopefully trade turrets. Organic looking to dive, perhaps. Yagachu just misses the judgment from the bush. Just out of range. Yeah, I'm not sure he would have wanted to take that anyway. He's pretty squishy at this point because he's behind. And that's the thing about Salus is if he's behind, he's he's got to be in the fights. But if he doesn't have the items, he dies very fast. Yeah, it's very tough. For Sal, as, as as annoying as he is when he gets yeah. ahead, when he gets yeah. behind, it's it's just as ineffective. <laughs> Absolutely. Shivy gets in with a fully empowered captivate, takes a big amount of big bit of harass, and the final payment as well. Gatsby gets in front to try to mitigate some of that. Yagachu looking to maybe catch, but they know he's there. Oh. Now Kuss is here with the rotate. Spirit side looking to collapse. They're pinging Kuss to get out. The rotation from bot lane gets canceled. They Realize not much is going to happen. Everyone kind of knows where each other are. Yeah, Mortal's got a bunch out. of wards in the middle. Now Fluffy is caught. There's Wrath of Heaven comes down from Azurebell. Corruption gets hit with a heat wave and deleted from the rest of the map. Nickin uses his ultimate. Oh, and the hook for Organic says, get back here, Bozo. Where do you think you're going? He gets knocked up again by Desecrator. The organic is hanging out way too long. Yagachu comes oh. in nicely with a judgment. And he hits the oh. second half of it. Can the spirit seals be enough? He doesn't want to get CC'd under the binding. And yeah. now the cousin's here. He's going to look to finish Nickin. But a nice Snapdragon, oh, he's using Snapdragons to avoid those Gales. Runs into Shivy though, Cuss will pick up the kill, and he picks up the second, or Shivy picks up the second kill, and Fluffy does the recall dance. That'd be him. I got you missing the Q. Uh -oh. Probably Ooh, still a nice waltz to avoid the, t the tidal wave. The finale from Yellow Drago, uh, along a with a blink from Crusoe Master G, will... Yellow Drago doing those. He's got nice finales on King of Mask. I gotta give him credit for that. I love Drago. He's a player. Uh, he's an old European player. He used to play a lot uh, last year. Really fun guy. Very good King of Mask player. And now you see Shivy and Gatsby, they've got such a lead on this lane now that they pushing them under turret pretty much fear-free of uh, Yagachu because even if that Salus gets his gank off, there's a good chance that with the burst from Gatsby and Shivy, they'll just there. blow him up. Yeah, just taking a quick look at the items, you can see Mortal Side already picking up a couple different tier 3s. Four people have a tier 3 item already. Uh-oh, Nickin. A little bit of trouble. Got a Snapdragon away. They catch Cuz. He uses Stormwall, but it's not going to be enough. The chase is on now, but nobody has an ultimate. She's not enough damage coming out of the spear. Yagachu is here. He goes in on Fluffy. The Wrath of Heaven gets corruption a little bit. Nick in trying to chase Cuss. Lands a Snapdragon. There's uh, Nature's Wrath. The stun comes out. They're going to change focus to Fluffy, who pops Blitz. Looking to engage. Nick in is very low. They're just. They're a little too behind and, and don't really have enough burst. Desecrator firing off the death fog. They turn on Fluffy, a big combo from Zalgus, but he doesn't have any damage. Yagachu just dies in vain here. This is quickly getting out of hand. Yellow Drago now caught as well. He's gonna get heat waved. Yup, Organic picks that one up. <coughs> Spiraling out of control here for the spirit side. The Chaos Shell. He's going to pick up another kill. Shivy picks up a double for his troubles. Swag walks out of turret. No yeah. big deal. <coughs> Excuse me. And, yeah, 12 minutes, and we already have a huge snowball going for Mortal Team. Yeah, the, uh, the, the wheels have come off this game pretty early on here, and that's kind of what happens when your jungler dies at, what was it, level 2 or 3? That early yep. in the game, it, it just... It, it just sets the tone for everything. You, you, when when your jungler is the one who's behind, it just makes it. You just lack pressure everywhere in a sense. And Yagachu was trying to make it, 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 it work. You know, he was coming back. He was trying to make it happen. He was ganking where he could, but um, the advantage just got too much. And, and you know, when the teams are full of skilled players like this, it's uh, not many mistakes to be had. So those initial ones. Uh oh, Yagaju just misses the judgment. Wrath of Heaven comes down. Looks like a fight is happening here. Yagachu is caught out again. He is going to drop. Oh, Amaranth lands a nice uh, rip to 
Tide, Riptide, Tidal Wave, Ultimate, <laughs> knocking up both people underneath that binding. But Tsunami, maybe? I, I, I'm pretty sure it's <laughs> Riptide, yeah. It's Riptide. Yeah, I think it's Riptide. Because it's Tidal Prison is the E. Yeah. Gets me. Gets me. Feeding Frenzy is Q. Yeah. And he makes another one. Little binding. Oh, what spot. a nice big haul from Organic, but he's eating a lot of binding shots. He will drop, but his team will pick up two for his troubles. A spirit player has been slain. Yellow Drago and Crucial Master G trying everything they can to keep their team in this game. But uh spirit binding has been destroyed. What we see here is just a lot of like these uh, ranged harassers from Caspian Cuts just getting ahead, doing a lot of damage, just completely dominating the siege game. Yeah. I think a lot of it hinged on that Mara pick as Gladiator. Um, she just wasn't able to follow up with Yagachi's ganks to do enough damage. When it was the the lane as well. Um, yeah. I mean, you said it yourself. You're like, hey, uh, we'll probably see Desecrator and Ashabel go down into that bottom lane and, and really mess with that Mara who's, who's trying to, to lad farm it up. Yep. Kuss trying to die to the armor buff, but unsuccessfully. So he ends up getting the buff and will recall. I was really hoping he was going to die there. <laughs> One can't be too cautious. And now we're going to see 15 minutes has come, and we're going to see a lot of positioning from the Mortals teams who get both those wells and Parasite, like, probably for free. Yeah. Um, which will pretty much secure them the game. Uh, at this point, uh, Spirit Team, their their hope lies in, well, in Zalgus. In a sense, you are correct. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think of like what their win conditions could be here, but there, there's not much. Uh, they don't really have late, late scaling picks. The Zalgus is Tactician, he's not going to be making much money at all for the vast majority of the game because he can't even get close up to and, and he's building pretty defensive oriented as well. Exactly. Um, Ooh, they almost catch Kuss, but a nice dispel eliminates that gank, and now they kind of have to back off. Mara uses her ultimate as well. And when, when there's a, a 4v2 engage that ends up with your four players with low health, that's pretty telling. Um, there's a chance that McKella could get big and do enough damage to really blow up Shivy with that single target damage that she has. But, I mean, Fluffy Penguin is enormous on Desecrator. He's only going to get bigger. That's a huge late scaling. Yeah, and he's already Shivy. got his Strife and Decay. Yeah, so that's that's crazy. He's got his two big core items before 20 minutes in, and that's that's going to be tough to deal with. Shivy gets hit with Chains, but there's just no damage to follow up. Yep. Team has captured so there still now. is a chance that uh, you know Spirit Team could turtle pretty well under their Guardian, get one of those godlike Reaper beams that obliterate an entire team. I think everyone's been through that for you. But even then, like it's going to be a long time before they get any kind of map control. Yeah, I mean, just looking at the items here, um, you know, they're starting to get some. See, uh, King of Masks does have his duress at least. Um, Nickin has a prosperity now. Uh, but uh, just, I mean, if you just look at the items, there's not a whole lot of damage coming out from the spirit side. So they're going to have to bide some more time here, farm up a little bit more, and look to has been be opportunists. It's really their only shot. The experience yeah. and econ advantage heavily in the mortal team's favor. And it actually, a bit of wise play here from the, um, from the mortal team, not taking Parasite. They're going for the wells and they're going for the towers. The thing about taking Parasite is it helps you push, but they don't really need the help. They don't need the help at all, and, and giving Striders with experience and Vim to the Spirit Team would actually end up helping them catch up in levels rather than snowballing a victory. So I'm not sure if that's intentional, but it definitely could be. Siege is on. Spiritside's in an okay position though because bottom lane is is pushed out considering for you know where they're at. Oh, an engage happening now. 
followed from the chains and the Riptide. Nikon goes in. Yagachu follows up, but now Organic is forcing all of the DPS for the Spirit side out of the fight. Nobody could follow up with Yagachu. Uh, and now everyone on the run for the Spirit side. Yeah, it's just, Organic just came in and just yeah. shut everyone out while Yagachu went flying past. Kind of unfortunate. That that was the catch they needed. They had a good catch on Shivy there. He got followed up with Zalgus chain. Gatsby! Chained underneath the binding, a nice stasis. A mortal player is unstoppable. But Shivy picks up another kill and he wants more. He gets one. Oh, the aggression. Miraculous. <clears throat> the spirit binding has been destroyed. All right, we now now we'll see them probably go for Parasite because they <clears throat> cracking the tier threes is a bit a bit harder than cracking the tier two turrets. Yeah. So they they they, they might need them. And I think they feel pretty comfortable about um, about their lead here. It'd be pretty hard to throw this game. Shivy standing in the blue blaze like I don't care. Shivy is in full ain't care mode. He is eight zero and three. Yeah. Slain the parasite. Heading that way. We're gonna see more team recalling. They're gonna spend their fat stacks. Let's see what is organic building. Going with that early preservation ambition. What a what a a manly Coggin build. Mm -hmm. we got him organic. All, all the auto attacks. High high power. A lot of haste. Yeah, you see, he like most Coggins, they build they build defensive auras, and they build glory, and they build uh, rebirth to stay alive, so that their Q is doing as much damage for as long as possible. But he he went for ambition. This is something I have not seen before, but it's working. I, I think it's wise because well, who knows if it's wise, but it, it's working because of that early snowball with the kill on Yagachu at level level three. Pretty pretty much makes it so Yagachu has no chance in a fight against him. Spirit side is just kind of grouped up, farming what they can. Well, the thing that is nice a little bit is is Crucial Master G is farming well. Um, he the only reason he's behind is he just doesn't have the same amount of kills as she. That's why you see the item discrepancy there. But he's he's, he's eight short of his kills, <laughs> which is a lot of money. But, but he uh, is the highest level on the spirit side, and he is farming yeah. well. So uh, it's possible. He could be the yep. linchpin to this team, but he, he just needs the rest of his team to kind of catch up and experience and, and, and levels as much as they can right now. Yeah, and th they need to fight here when, when Shivy's not around. And there's the catch on Cuss. There's just not really any good way for them to follow up with those catches. Mm -hmm. They want to bring us to tier 3 bindings, which is probably smart. Hopefully they get overconfident. Organic and Shivy are not here. Oh yeah, they're going to push both lanes at once. Yes, they are. Just continuing to siege down this base. Oh, Amaranth goes aggressive oh. with the Riptide under the Binding. It's chained underneath. Going to have to blink away. Binding focus oh. changes up to Cusp. But uh, King of Masks is going to get exploded by Fluffy, who now blitzes to escape from underneath the Binding. Some great plays from both sides. You see a perfect blitz there from Corruption to dodge the Coggin hook. Yeah, Nicken goes back in onto Cus, who's going to dispel away. Unfortunate for him, he still had the dispel up. Looking to follow up on it now. The Chaos Shell comes down. Varian is around the backside, looking to jump onto people who are trying to escape this engage. Um, not a terrible... Uh-oh, uh-oh, can Yagachi follow up on this? So hard for him. Oh, he oh, did! Oh, oh, camera! He goes in on Fluffy, but too much <laughs> organic and uh, and Fluffy I'm just still did too much damage. And oh my, corruption got exploded yeah, from Shivy. Now Nickin trapped so underneath good. all of that CC. Shivy picks up another one. I think uh, this game might be over. Unless Drago and Crucial Master G can do something to stop this siege. 
There's not a lot they can do. No. They just don't have the damage. Conquest on the killer. That's actually an older build. It is. Which we haven't seen for a long time. It's... You know, a lot of people say it's not good. But... I think it's really... It's the best thing he could do in this game, because... He needs a lucky crit on somebody. But yeah, the game's pretty much over. The duress lets Cus get trapped underneath in there. Oh, but the Stormwall knocks him back. Drago does pick up the kill. Ooh. Gatsby gets locked down under the death laser, but he uses but a beautiful stasis. And then Corruption shows up and picks up the kill, but Shivy picks up another kill onto Salas, and then Zalgus as well will drop. Shivy trying to finish Crucial Master G, which he does, and now it's Nikken. Nikken and Shivy, but Shivy has a lot of life drain and a lot of damage. I don't think Nikken can win this fight, and he won't. Shivy gets the Tetra. Will Yellow Droggle give him the opportunity to get the Omni? Does Shivy want to man up and fight for his Omni? He does not. He He's wants to run away. Up. Oh, Shivy, I'm so disappointed. Shivy, we are. I think he wants to keep that 14-0. That <laughs> he wants to keep the shutout alive. That's true, that's true. Those are some pretty stats. But still, he could have had that those, Omni. Those fantasy points right there. Yeah, Drago. Drago doesn't have a prosperity. All he has is a duress. I, I, he might have been able to survive through it. And here comes the surrender, which I do not fault the Spirit Team for if they elect to go with it. Yeah, they do. The Spirit Team has surrendered. GG. GG. These games do happen. All right. Fun game. 14 0 for Chevy. Nice Big showing him on Varian. Nice game for Chevy. But not to be understated, Fluffy Penguin's dominant Desecrator and Gladiator laning phase. Yeah, it was just kind of a, a lane comp that really worked in their favor the most. And uh, moving over to. Uh, the, the appropriate lane that they wanted, like you called early on in that game, I think was a big factor in them, uh, in, in the game going, you know, to their, you know, they were dictating the pace of the game that way. All right, so keep that draft open. I did. I, I reset it, go. though. Yeah. Oh, you're an expert now. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm picking it up pretty well now. As we wait for things to populate, um, I'm going to step away really quick and make a phone call. I will be right back. Sounds good.
Okay. I am here. Oh, tunes. Let's go into a scout scouter mode. Okay. All right, we got some new faces. Yes, we do. The Zalgus legend Eviscus himself is mm -hmm. joined this icy pan, the Reddit Lord. Yes. The uh, moderator of Reddit of Donkey Reddit's fun guy. If you don't subscribe to it, it's a great place to get all the latest Dawn Gate uh, feels from the community. A lot of feels get posted there. A lot of feels. A lot of feels. People have opinions. And Reddit good is good, where they like good to feels share. and bad feels. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a fair amount of salt as well. But also, lots of cool art and stuff. Yes. I really enjoy the art, the art threads. And the, and the lore threads are always full of people with very nice people with fun discussions. Yes, sir. All right. So uh, we can pick some teams. Did I pick last game or did you first pick? Uh, I believe I did. Okay. So it's up, it's up to you. It's up to me to pick first. Da, 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 da. I'm going to take Shivy based off of that incredible performance last game. Wow. Well, I'm going to keep going with my brother cuts. Brother Cuss. You know, he's probably going to troll me again and play, what? Hey, the, the tactician, tactician Ashabel worked out really nice. Yeah, it did. All right. Second pick. Um, I, I was a big fan of, uh, of Fluffy's Glad uh, Desecrator, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take him. Good choice. I will pick... I will pick... I'm going to pick Eveniscus. Ooh. That LCS hype. So much hype. Can't resist. All right. Uh, I will take... I'm going to go with Icy Pan. Throwback pick there. I'm going to pick Yellow Drago. Yellow Drago. Real nightmare on King of Masks so far. Yeah. Um, I will take Gatsby. We can leave him where he's at. All right, and I will pick uh, Xanarate. Xanarate. I will take Shay. And sounds good. All right, let's uh, go over to our scouter tool here. I need Shivy on my team. Kuss is on the other team. Gatsby is on my team. Crucial Master G, I don't think is in this game. But he's still in the Dawn Scouter. That's fine. Fluffy's on my team. Xano's on the other team. Icy Pan's on my team. Um, what else do I need to do? What else do I need to move? Is Yellow Drago? No, okay, he's there. Hot Asian Sundress is organic or Tulse? Who knows, man? I don't know. Who I don't knows? know if Corruption is in here. All right, and they're starting out. Yeah, we're good. I think uh, I think they could figure it out from this point. Enough people are. In the Dawn Scout Draft tool that we shouldn't have an issue. First band calm. First time we've seen that today. Yeah, I'm okay with it. King of Masks brings all kinds of utility uh, to any team comp, so interesting to see what teams will pick uh, as their tacticians with no King of Masks available. They might be looking to uh, to force or to, to get themselves Dibs or Mita. This is one strategy that you see a lot of teams use. Oh, and that's wise choice. Oh, I don't know what's going on. Never mind. So Varian gets banned and Kenzu gets picked. Dibs Mita getting picked up by Spirit, possibly. Although that's, yep, there it yeah. is. Yeah. So the lockdown on the S tier supports the tacticians. Also, a really fun combo if, if Dibs goes Gladiator. Yes. It, it, the dive bomb, the two-man dive with Mita riding Gibbs into battle. The move speed. <laughs> you can see Fluffy not happy with these picks so far. <laughs> Mortal looking to pick. So first pick Kenzu for Mortal Team. 
strong AD carry, high engage potential, very strong laning phase, but vulnerable to ganks. But his uh, his double auto attack in lane is just really potent. Yeah, just for those little those little trades when you go to CS, you take that quick double knock passive from Kenzu, and you're like, ooh. Yeah, because even if they're walking away and technically the second auto is out of range, it still goes through. Mm -hmm. so and you see Ferris. Yeah, we're looking at a spirit band. Yep. Yeah, that's right. So they take away the Ferris Mina combo, which is very wise. And now the... Uh... Maybe the Fires pick two. They see two squishy tacticians on the enemy team on the spirit side. So maybe thinking Faris can help quickly delete one of them from a team uh, from a team fight. The Desecrator ban not allowing Fluffy. Yeah, good choice there. Although Fluffy is a good Ferris player. Might see a Salas ban. Uh, or an Ashabel ban. I'm not really sure what we'll see here. Just so everyone knows who's watching, there is a global Sakari ban. Just because of the debug associated with her ice blocks and how they can be placed on top of you and get trapped inside of them. So to avoid that sort of thing, keep the salt levels low. Yeah as low as possible. <laughs> Sometimes. It's just unavoidable. Yeah, it is the worst feeling when they put one iceberg on you and you're stuck in the wall and mm -hmm. can't move at all. Mortal Team, thinking through it's the Salus Band. It was. You called it. Potent jungler. We didn't see him come out strong last game, but that was mostly because of just just bot lane winning so hard that yeah made it difficult for Yagachi to even even take his strong jungle. <laughs> the super organized mortal team talking in all chat mm -hmm. about, about their strategy. We should see Spirit Team picking up, uh, they might want to pick a jungler here to get maybe the Coggin if they want to take that away. And force a, like a Bullock or a Basco pick. Maybe we'll see some Moya. Maybe. I know, right? I no Moya, and like, whatever, what happened to Petrus? I have not oh, seen he's... Old Man Petrus in, 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 a, in, a, in a Coon's Age. I, I think maybe someday he'll come back into jungle favor, but he's just not that good. I think he's good in lane, though. And it's the Algus pick, locking that up for Evaniscus. The God of Chains. The Chain Master, yeah, that's definitely an Evaniscus pick. And Amaranth, gonna come in for Mortal Side. Both teams with lots of magic damage so far. I think Xano's back. Yeah, he's back. So Mortal Team looking to pick up another tactician here, most likely. I don't think they... Well, our jungler. We'd love to see some Flynn. I'd love to see some Freya. Let's see some Cuss play Freya. That would be nice. I do... I, I, I like Freya. I've always liked Freya. Yeah, she's... She's fun. She's hard to pull off, though. Kidra's still available. We got Mara still available. Maybe we might see some there. Fenbor. Maybe some Cerulean would be nice. Oh, yeah. Or Viridian. I'd love to see some Viridian, too. I'm, I'm shocked more people don't play Viridian. He is so strong in the, in the, right, in the right hands. Yeah, he really is. I had a really nice Viridian game the other day. Made me feel good. Yeah. You feel good when you get kills on Viridian. You do. You <laughs> just... He's just rewarding. I don't really understand. So Nisa comes out, 
And there's Coggin to round out the rest of the spirit side. So, interesting team comp. Yeah, a lot of wombo combo with that uh, the Mita ult, Coggin hook. I wonder Sub who's going who's going to be their second gladiator. Eveniscus likes to play tactician. Yeah, it's going to be a dibs it's going to be a dibs gladiator mm -hmm. lane and it's going to be fun. Renzo pick with the double ADC. So, only, you know, two two big beefy guys in in the entire game here. Yeah. So we will uh we are going to jump into game here. It's fun. You get to, when they, when when everyone's squishy, there's a lot of plays going on. <laughs> Jungle Ferris for I'm So Fluffy. Okay. We saw that in the first game. Um, and I didn't work out quite as well. Maybe we'll do better this time. Yep, and there's Draco on the Gladiator Dibs. Okay. And Cuss playing Tactician Mina. Thank you, Cuss. That's the last first pick you get, buddy. <laughs> well, maybe it's as good as his Tactician Ashabel, and then he'll be all right. See Shayam on Amaranth. I think that's her, her favorite tactician. I've seen her play that a lot. And Gatsby, Gatsby is the original Renzo god. Let me just tell you. I was on a team with Gatsby when he came out. That's some throwback right there. Some throwback. He's a great Renzo player. Very, very smart with his shields and stuff. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. Uh, not, not an ideal pick, honestly, in either of these lanes, though. So we'll see how he holds up. And then Shivy on his favorite Kenzu. Yeah, as 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 tanky as Renzo gets, um, still, you know, he's not really a frontline tanker. He's he's not the in your face the same way Coggin is. So it's going to be uh, interesting to see how these team fights kind of go. Maybe they look for the quick picks between a void breaker followed up by a riptide, and then Fluffy comes in for the finish on Faris or Icy Pan on Mikella. But yeah, it's interesting. Renzo's usually picked up as an anti-assassin because. Mm -hmm. Uh, that shield is just so good at keeping people alive when they get bursted, but uh, there's no real assassin on on the spear side, so we'll see how this goes. All right. The dawn gate opens. The dawn gate opens. Now be there. See pings for that five man stack into the death bush bot lane. We're heading there. Standard starts all around. <laughs> Tala is glad to see you again, Dibs. She's not going to try to eat me again, right? Thirty seconds until minions spawn. <laughs> that nibs and dees <laughs> nibs. <laughs> the nibs, the Nisa Dibs lane, the lore. The icy pan very wisely backs off before getting chains. Might have been forced to blink there. But they're going to get that deep ward on power, which is going to give a lot of jungle information to Corruption. Mortal side looks to respond in kind. Renzo may be heading up there to ward that power, but no, no, they're just going to be content to sit in that lane bush. Man, yeah, I think he already expended spawned. his ward for that money pig's ward. So you see a lot more team play coming out of Spirit side. Deep the they're getting their deep, their deep wards, which is just so good. Because it, it doesn't give you the advantage, the adva or the vision as the jungler is coming to gank, but it tells you where he is on the map so you can play appropriately in lane. Uh, and also opens up the potential for invades and things. So Corruption gonna start his power buff, which is pretty standard. Same stuff, Fluffy likewise. Exactly. And now this. Eveniscus get a little bit of harass on the icy pan. Yeah, just trying to be annoying, which is, which is annoying. Mm -hmm. As a jungler, I hate it when people do that. <laughs> there you go, you see the kinetic sculpture and uh, and Kenzu's double knock. Doing nice early on. And you see Drago and Cus already pushed under turret. Should be going in for those double autos. I don't really yeah. know where the advantage lies in that in that top lane right now. Yeah. I imagine the power spikes shift pretty wildly as the levels are accrued, but 
Yeah, it's it's a, not an easy. It's, like Dibs is a bit of a scaling mage. We played Gladiator. Um, his ratios are huge. Just absolutely ridiculous on Q. Yeah, Mina does have plenty of different ways to uh, proc that as well. Shay getting a little bit low in the bottom lane. She's gonna have to be careful. Yeah, bot, bot lane on the other hand is pretty easy to see who's dominating this lane. Huge yeah. creep coming under turret. See how well Icy Pan's able to farm that up. But yeah, I think top lane is, is gonna go to Renzo. I think uh, Kenzu is gonna be able to pretty much get his his harass off for free, and then Renzo will just heal it up with the shield. It's gonna depend a lot on, on jungle. Again, we see the junglers starting opposite sides of the map, doing their full clears. Quick look. Uh, yeah, corruption. You can see doing work on that jungle. Kagan already with 23 minions killed. That that Kagan is just so. Uh oh, who who DC'd? Hmm. Must be top lane. <laughs> Some gentlemanly play coming mm -hmm. out. From well, I mean, if <laughs> anyone who knows me, I I I do not wait for DCs in in this format. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, I mean, if you DC in my game, it's it's no mercy. It is, it, I mean, it's happened to me as well. Big but. combo there on Xanary. He gets a little overconfident in this lane. Takes a lot of damage. He's going to have to drink his pot. Ooh, Eminis oh, Reminisc is great. Great in that space. Cuss goes in with Key to the Heart onto Shivy, but Fluffy is here. They have to be careful. I think their cooldowns are all up, so... Oh, and Fluffy goes in. Oh, and there's the camera. Thank you. Uh, beautiful ripple from yeah. Gibbs to... Negate that. Base smart cam. Corruption positioning bot lane wisely for a dive since they're getting kind of rolled so hard in lane, but he's gonna back off. Doesn't want to take that risk. Fair enough. Renzo going in for the deep ward on power. Gets it, but the power's gone, so. Yeah. Might have been smarter to do the, the bush that's right in between the two turrets. But it'll still most likely spot out mm -hmm. Kagan when he gets back up there to farm those fish camps. Oh, and here's the dive bot lane, but oh, Fluffy's in position please. to counter. Oh no, oh no. Sorry, I, I botched that and missed the entire thing. But uh, Mikella drops, and now Corruption is on the run, uses his quicksand. Oh, and the slow was enough for him to outrun the title prison. He went for the hook, but I, I don't even, even if he got it, I don't know if it would have been ideal for him. Yeah, he was, he was hoping that uh, Zog would be there in time to follow up. So his ult's on cooldown now, that's his first ult wasted. Oh, we see. Gasp, he just punched him. Trying to run out. Oh, thrill of a hunt. Let's posi Shivy position to pick up Yellow Drago, which he does nicely. And the, and the Renzo Lord strikes again. Good play from Shivy as well to follow up with that aggression. So that, that we're going to see a, sort of a opposite snowballing in lanes here. Um, Icy Pan with one death, hopefully they can stabilize that. Corruption gonna go help clear. But that is one of the nice things though, in a double ranged AD comp, you know, can, uh, the, the one lane isn't doing great, but you still will have that presence of a, uh, of a, you know, comparable uh, AD and the fact that now that, you know, Kenzu's lane is, is going well for him. Yeah, so we'll see what the jungle has had to do with that. Do they help the losing lane or do they continue to... That is, that is the, the eternal lane. struggle that every jungler goes through. It's do you help snowball the winning lane or And it's not it's not always clear what the what the correct play is. Agreed. I, I usually go myself. My We're just continuing to, to dumpster the winning lane. <laughs> Nothing worse than trying to gank a losing lane and then you just all end up dying. 2v2. Yeah. See, Dre goes back in game. Wait, we look at items as we skirmish here. Uh oh, never mind. As I go look for the item, Shay gets killed. Boy, I'm like, I'm on top of it today, this game. The Evanis is big paying off. That blink. Like chain, so aggressive on Zelda. Let's see it. And then oh, corruption but... gets caught on the way back from Money Pigs as well. Yeah, big, big kill, counter kill there for uh, Mortal Team. Keeping things even. 
However, they're probably gonna lose this turret. Mm -hmm. In exchange for some jungle supremacy. It's a big deal when Ferris starts starts rolling in the jungle like this against the Kaga. Uh, he's gonna get his power buff. Clear some of that well. It's pretty much gonna make us that anytime Kagan runs into Ferris in the jungle, he's gonna have to just run for his life. Should be doing all kinds of damage to Drago. Oh, there's the uh, masterpiece from Renzo. Is it gonna be enough? The Void Breaker oh. with the blink was out. Oh, it threw oh. the Hunter the opposite side! Really well played by Shivy, but Gatsby gets picked up by Cuss uh, and the Binding as well, with some help from the Binding. A bit of a late ult from Shivy. I ulted earlier, they would have not had to die there, but. Still, I think Gatsby the... surprised him with the uh, masterpiece yeah. under the binding. Now Fluffy looking to dive with Shivy as well, just kind of setting it up nicely for Shivy to pick up another kill and help snowball that Kenzu. We oh, see Xanar and Meniscus went to go for the power buff, but Shea scares them off. Yeah, that top lane is doing work. Shivy increasing his uh, his kill to to death now. What well, he finished last game at like what like 16 and 0. 14 and 0, yeah. 14 and 0. So now he's got three kills in this game with no deaths. So the uh, the streak continues for base Chivy. Yeah, showing up big at these in houses. Evaniscus camp in this bush. He's looking to follow up on the stun. Oh, oh. nice waltz from Icy Pan to avoid. Oh, and the blink over the Renzo's embrace. Shea gets caught by the big haul. Uses a blink of her own. Riftide knocks up. Two members of the enemy team, Xanarate tries to finish off Mikella as well as Evaniscus. Now Fluffy is chasing down Xanarate, landing the auto attacks from the range form of Reconfigure. And uh, Corruption zones nicely with a quicksand. Yeah, two blinks forced out of uh, bot lane, so that's going to make them very vulnerable to, to these ganks. A little more even here in the beginning goings of this game. Now Corruption and Kuss are going to make a play for the power buff. They've got two of the members of their team close to hand, even though Misa looks to be recalling. Fluffy hanging on the other side of the bush, uses Flashback to try and steal it. He's going to get aggressive with Final Protocol on, and then... Oh, Xanarate's here as well. Kuss blinks over the wall. Shea is chasing Evaniscus. Icy Band uses Final Payment. Kenzu comes in from the other side with a Void Breaker, picks up Xanarate. The, the chase is on. They're chasing down Evaniscus and Corruption. They will be able to get both of these if Shivy yeah, can get there in time. They're as good as dead. Oh, Outrider kicks oh, in. Oh, yes. Gonna and Corruption's going to get away. Shivy using those Ghosts of Malice and Despair. And then a beautiful quicksand oh, yeah. from Corruption. Can Fluffy get oh, there in goes, time? Yes. Gatsby's here looking for the bops. He gets the stun, the masterpiece. He lands the bop and it allows Shay to pick it up with the Feeding Frenzy. Very oh, nice play so from the Lord. by the Renzo. Fun to see that. That was that was a nice little uh, exchange there. Yeah, good. There. Good rotation from top lane. The advantage top lane gonna just spilling over bot lane so hard. And now you can see Icy Pan back in the game. Shay in as well. And Dibs just would would. He's just so far behind and he's just has been destroyed. not a best shamer for pushing turrets, so he's not going to be able to counter with a, with a top turret. Curious to see that he didn't ult to that fight, but... Uh, yeah, not, not quite using that Dibs global presence to their full advantage. And they're just going to rotate top lane looking yeah, for more the, I think the, the DCs might have uh, been affecting Drago in this game right now. He got a little bit behind earlier on, he's trying to catch up, so... Maybe not yeah. seeing the map the way he needs to. He's got some friends here for the potential dive. Gatsby initiates with the kinetic sculpture underneath the binding, and they're looking to just do as much binding damage as they can. Some pings coming out on Parasite. Wonder if they just want to ward it. Get wards on the middle of the map. Yeah, that's the, the one just placed there at the top of the middle half uh, is the only ward they have in the center, so... Gotta have vision to know where them rotates are coming from. See Evaniscus positioning for a chain. However, Mortal Team's gonna kinda sniff him out. You know, they gotta be careful. Cus gets jumped out from Fluffy. Evaniscus lands a big combo. Shivy comes in with the Void Breaker. Fluffy's in trouble. He looks to drop. The big haul comes in. Amaranth throws the Riptide. The wall from Void Breaker goes away. 
and leave Shivy all by himself, but he's really strong, and he's trying to do everything he can to survive here. Oh, Shivy's gonna drop to Corruption, who lands the double kill, so... <laughs> it was funny the way that, that fight worked out. It was in Mortal's favor at first, but then, when the Voidbreaker wall went away, and they had no other yeah. way to escape, and they're, they're still chasing on Gatsby here. Nina lands key to the heart, Eveniscus lands the Great Rift. Who's gonna get the last kill? It's gonna be Eveniscus. A good, a good bait there. Uh, you saw Fluffy on Ferris. He went in to harass that bush and just got chained right to the face. Mm -hmm. And, it, you know, with that tanky Ferris build he's going, he took a lot of damage, but uh, the, the hook from Corruption over that wall after, uh, right before Ken's all wore off was just so big. And I think Shivy just was seeing, like, was seeing red in that fight and positioned yeah. himself to get, get stuck on the other side of the wall after his ult finished, so... A bit of, and as they're saying in chat, a bit of an aggressive W from Shivy. Heading over that wall after his, or right before his own ult wore off so he couldn't get back. So, Spirit Team back in the game. They get a turret, they get two turrets. Yeah, without oh, they already They already had bot turret. Quick look at some of the items. See Shivy uh, with a quick judgment on Kenzu, which, interesting. And there's that dip stage you see on Shivy. You see, if you proc that Q, it's like something like I think a 1.3 total power ratio. Just unreal damage comes out of Gladiator dips when you build full mage. If you're able to follow up with those Qs, and with Mina, it's very easy because she's just got a point and click ranged ability. That's Siphon Soul. See uh, Fluffy and Ferris spotlighting doing money pigs. Bit of a stalemate here. We're not. I don't think any either team is really sure. You know, it's four, only 14 minutes, so objectives aren't open yet. And Cuss calling the plays in chat, looking to make that Mina Dib split push work. Fluffy goes in, uses his recall, so now he has no way of getting out here. Corruption goes for the heat wave, but Fluffy blinks away. There's the big haul plus the dibs. Old Fluffy's going to drop. Nice collapse from Spirit's side to make sure Fluffy didn't get away. Nice engage as well, right when the flashback just came off of, uh, was just used. Yeah, really unfortunate for Fluffy there, using his E. And Kagan was just flanking him there, so he had no way of getting away. Force uses his blink as well and still dies. And now we have turret pressure bot lane. However... Shivy is pushing top lane. Shivy is pushing top lane, but I, I think they're gonna get. A mortal binding has been. Oh, oh Gatsby is out. in a bad spot now. He uses masterpiece to try and disengage and fight. Riptide comes in as well, but only hits one person. Evanifskis does land. Final chapter on Gatsby. Corruption chasing down with heat wave and dust devil. Corruption gets the kill and is now on a killing spree and spirit side continuing to turn this game in their favor. Yep, 15 minutes just hit, and they're going to look to take Parasite. I'll just leave this here. I shall now they have the numbers and the positioning for Parasite. See, Ferris looking to come in for potential steal, but he's just going to get completely bodied out by... Evaniscus, just so scared of that chain. Oh, the, oh, the Voidbreaker comes in onto Cus, and the hall over the wall gets both Fluffy and uh, uh, Kenzu. So really nice play from Corruption, and then Shay's gonna have to blink away to avoid Key to the Heart from Mina. That was a very nice hook. Yeah, that was a big hook. The biggest of halls. <laughs> the biggest of halls. Cus, Cus was a... Uh... Pretty dead there if that hook had to come out. It's a good save as well. AW Corruption. The other day when we did these in-houses, he played a Coggin game and was went very similar to this one where he was just making plays all over the map and he's showing. He, at the end of that game, he tried to tell me he's like, I'm not even a jungler or a Coggin player. And I'm like, you sandbagging son of a bitch, you clearly are because there's no way you'd be pulling this stuff off otherwise. But either way. Another good showing for him this game on uh, on that jungle Kage. Yeah, he's up, he's up uh, two levels on Fluffy Penguin as well. 
So big, big snowball now for the spirit team. They got Parasite, they got both wells, they got kills. Um, it's going to be a bit of a pick game now for Immortal. They're going to look to make plays happen with Shibby's ult, with the Gatsby stun, and with Ferris. They have so much, so much pick potential. It's just, can they make it happen? Can they avoid the wards? Can they set up the traps? Yeah, no, no clear objectives on the map, and the fact that all four spirit wells are capped for the spirit side. Parasite is down for a little bit longer here, um, so just kind of spirit side, just looking to push together. They need to be grouped up. Oh, be there. Yeah, you see, Evanesca is positioning for that catch with his chain. In Mortal side, they're just going to look to farm Striders under their turret. Hopefully get a bit of a level advantage, which you often see happening, even for a losing team. They get a level advantage because of the Strider. Chain gets caught by Chain, but not that much damage coming out of Evaniscus quite yet. Yeah, just kind of ranged harass back and forth. Mortal side just trying to stem the tide of these striders until they stop spawning. I think. Uh, yeah, what you're gonna see now is though is the the dips mean a split push. Mm -hmm. They're just gonna go pressure that tier three, and if top lane if they rotate people down to to counter it, then top lane's just gonna go down. And if they want, they can fly back. Exactly, and if they they can even dive top once people rotate down and just fly into it. Yeah. So. Three people coming down to deal with Demina and Dibs. In the top under Ooh, Shivy takes a big burst of damage from the Nightmare proc. And oh man, and Eveniscus <laughs> opportunistically comes in and chains him as well with the duress, with help from the duress. So that's what happens. The pressure from the split push to catch people in the rotations. Nice to play. Icy Pan with an aggressive waltz. <laughs> It looked like he regretted that immediately, but who knows. Mm -hmm. Gatsby was there with a big shield that, that yeah. Renzo's embrace, keeping him keeping him humble. Fluffy gets duressed and eats a great rift, but they're more focused on the binding than they are him, so that binding will fall. Fluffy kills the flashback over that wall. He was warded anyway, he probably would have died. Oh, Fluffy and Drago, Drago going in. Oh, Kuss and Drago. Drago. Now they're chasing down Fluffy. He's caught out a bit. Riptide beautifully from Shea, but it happens in tandem with a big haul on the final flight from Nisa. And the mortal side is getting wrecked now. They're looking to finish here. Drago and Kuss are on the outskirts. Icy Band is in the thick of it. Shivy, Icy, and Fluffy, the only ones left. Fluffy goes back in, but immediately regrets it and recalls his flashback. Yeah, big, big fight there. Good Dibs ult to uh, catch Icy Pan, just push my out a little too far after that turret went down. And that big haul, once again, just making the fight. Has been destroyed. Yeah, uh, it was it was perfectly timed with the, the Riptide from Amaranth, and it really kind of like rustled that entire engage for a minute there. Mortal looked to be in a better position for, for, for a minute, but Corruption came in on that Coggin and then just, you know, just wrecked that team fight. So Spirit side, gonna regroup, do some shopping. We'll take a look at the items here now. Now we're starting to see the big ones come down. Yellow Drago with Supremacy and Destruction. Corruption uh, has his rebirth up. He's got the Equilibrium and another Discipline. Maybe gonna look to finish a Subjugation. Um, Xanarate has Pain and Judgment, along to go with his, abol uh, his Abolition and Ambition. We see the Devotion and the Harmony on Kuss. Eveniscus rocking the Duress Prosperity. Over on Mortal side, Fluffy, that, that tanky, on-hit kind of Ferris. Uh, Shay going for a more damage-oriented Amaranth with her Destruction. Ordinary Gatsby's got his Faith and Devotion, and Icy Pan and Shivy. Both with pains, ambitions, and uh, Shivy's got himself a judgment while Icy's sitting on the abolition, so. Yeah, you can see this is a more standard Kagan build than what we saw last game from Organic. The rebirth into defensive auras like equilibrium and subjugation. He's gonna get both this game. 
And then Drago taking advantage of that high power ratio on Dis with the Supremacy. Those Qs, man, they're gonna hit so hard. Oh, I, that's what happened to Shivy in the in the rotate earlier on before uh, uh, Spirit Side did all that work. When he when he came crossing around, he figured he was gonna eat a little bit of harass, but when he did, it, it took away half of his health, and that's when he was like, uh oh. And then yeah. Evaniscus came in and, and just cleaned up the rest of it. But you know that was set up by virtue of Dibs and and all of the damage from uh, Nightmare and then procking the the Nightmare stack. Two pains coming out from Icy Pan and Shivy. Not sure if they need a, on both AD carries. Um, does do a really good job of countering the shields, the shield heavy, and and, re, and uh, rebirth heavy team from Spirit. But it's also not the best damaging item for an AD carry, and they really need to do some damage. And uh, Gatsby with the... What is that item even? Fate? Fate. Yeah. Yeah, giving him Since that big shield. We can take a look. That's giving him a free 375 extra shield plus the 154 from Warden. So, you know, an extra 500 health, an extra 20% yeah. of his health pool is uh, is in shields before you even start getting to the, to the real thing. So... Nice synergy between Warden and uh, the Warden Spirit Stone and Faith, the item. Yeah, definitely. Now we see the mortal side try. Oh, uh, that if if Xanarate got uh, got to rest a little bit sooner, uh, he could have taken a lot of damage from that uh, from the death laser. Icy Pan again. Oh, the good dispel from him to basically stay alive. Ult is down for Evanescence, which is, which is good. Taking Doing their best the, to clear out the these chicken striders. nugget factory core. Those health nuggets. <laughs> oh yeah. Now working on the uh, on the little fiery slows. I really need to know the names of all these core abilities. I call that one the scatter shot. Scatter shot. Yeah, that's a good one. Now here we go. The bubble prison, but corruption gets hit. From a combo, Gatsby gets duress underneath. Spirit side just continually continuing this siege slowly. Uh, they pull in Fluffy, and now the engage happens. We loop. Xanarate takes down a hammer and then uh Eminiscus and Dr. Xanarate now on the run. Icy Pan and base Chivy looking to pick off the low-level members of the spirit squad. There are they are very low if they can get there. I don't think they will be able to. Gatsby does stun Drago. But uh, he's going to use the spell to get out. Evaniscus snares Icy. Mina jumps back in with a Void Breaker from Shivy. Gatsby's there in the middle of it as well. Icy and Shivy trying to pick off Puss here. The laser is going to separate the team. Really nice laser. Evaniscus gets stunned. He's now on the run. He's on the, premise though now. The Ghosts of Despair doing their work. Evaniscus. Oh no! Oh no! Icy Fan with the Waltz does get in there to land the right click to finish off Evaniscus. So courts go down, but. Mortal Team is able to stay alive and pick up some kills. They do have the laser core up still, that is so. All hope yeah. is not lost. There's always hope with the laser. No, not much. We saw a good big haul there from Corruption. He canceled the E from Ferris, so he was completely caught out. Yeah, that was so really was nice. And it threw me off, too, because I'm like, wait, didn't he E? What just happened? Yeah, no, it caught him mid-animation pretty... A bit of a slow reaction there. Call it calculated for corruption. <laughs> that or EU ping, one of the two, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, we see we see the level advantages coming out for uh, for Mortal Team with these striders. Icy Pan and Shivy are both higher level than Drago and Xanarate, but it's probably not going to matter much at this point. Spirit side slowly regrouping and recommencing their uh, anaconda-like stranglehold of the mortal side base, denying them of everything they possibly can. Yeah, there's what it's going to take for them to win this game is basically they need at least at least two 
Reaper Beams. So they need two big fights where Spirit wipes in the Reaper Beam. Uh, and then they might be able to start getting some Wells back some turrets. If they could somehow so manage then, to snag the next Parasite, it would also... Yeah, what? Parasite Steel is always a dream. ...go a long way into, into staving off the assault, because as much as their base is kind of destroyed, this is still a pretty even game. Yeah. Because of the, you know, aforementioned level advantage on the big DPS of, uh, of Mortal side. But now Spirit's catching up nicely. It's a little bit more even. Yeah. Now it's just the tacticians are uh, are higher level on the spirit side, so. Shimmy picked up his ruin, so he's starting to get pretty big. You know, he's he's definitely a threat. But corruption is just so tanky right now. And the div shields are so big too. You saw div shields actually save Xanarate's life last fight. Mm -hmm. That dream rat. That dream rat. Reaper beam number one. Not much to speak of. You can see though the hesitation. Yeah. He, they just they you have to respect. You don't want to you yeah you don't want to get caught out in a bad spot especially with uh, you know a well timed masterpiece combined with a riptide from Amaranth could just yeah. spell death for your team. But the masterpiece gets used and here's the engage. Uh, they do a really nice job of avoiding the big haul from Corruption who blitzes to escape. Final protocol is on him. Ordinary Gatsby gets picked up by Final Flight. They change their focus now on to Shea, who takes two big auto attacks and has to blink away. Buffy is trying to fight 2v1, but he gets exploded. Shivy are on the back side. They take out Nisa. He's trying to avoid Eveniscus and Cus. The Reaper Beam doing work. The thrill of the hunt gets him to the other side. He and Shea are chasing down Cus. The distress is there. There's final payment. Who's going to pick up the kill? Cus does a recall spam. Gets dropped by Icy Pad. Mortal side still in this game. What a fight. Uh, so many plays there from the spirit, for mortal side, I mean. Gatsby with a hard engage, forcing them to turn around and fight, which baited out the hook, and everybody dodged it very nicely. Yeah, that, that was the, 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 the key to that fight right there, was nobody got hooked. In all of those previous fights we talked about, oh my god, what a great hook from Corruption. That time he doesn't get anybody, so yeah. that time... Mortal side wins the fight, and now they're in position to maybe go for. Are they get a two man this parasite with two ranged ADs? I think they can. And Custer with the ruin. So. The mortal team has captured a well. The mortal team has and they pick mortal up a parasite. Side has parasite. So it's gonna be yeah, it's gonna be very difficult for uh, for spirit team to push for a little while because they gotta go into some striders into a laser core. Which is not easy. As you can see already, it wasn't easy. And, and so much of their fight just really hinges on getting that hook. Shibby just went so big. He just went past Corruption to the back line. Man mode Kenzu. Yeah, really knowing the limits of his shaper there, allowing him to do yeah. what he needs to do. And now he also has a Ruin, so both ranged ADs on the mortal side have Ruins. So Corruption's big health pool is going to start working against him pretty soon here. But Xanarate sitting on five item eighty carry, he's he's enormous. There's, it cannot be ignored. No, he has a dominance kill. as well. So those uh, uh and yeah, in the in the fight previously, he, he hit Shay with like one auto attack and it crit her and, and just kind of her health bar used to be there. We see uh, Corruption has finished both his defensive auras, so... You know, but it, it's it's curious to see if he's able to get those proccing onto the AD carries, you know, because you have Kenzu and, and Mikella who are probably going to be out of range of his Q. And that's really who needs to be doing less damage. So, this Coggin pick is going to start falling off. He's, he's pretty much a hookbot now, I think. Yeah. Because he, he, you saw him even in that fight. Once once he missed and once he was stuck, sort of slowed, he was just getting eaten up by those carries. Yeah, and now they're able to, to really kite effectively. Yeah. And the amount of threats that the mortal team has makes it kind of hard to focus as well. Yeah, it really is. And uh, Spear Team wisely just deciding to farm everything on the map for free. They're gonna get their items, they're gonna get their levels. Get all the buffs, all the wells. 
Yeah, well, they've all these fights that have been going well for Mortal Side have happened in the base, so uh, they want to continue with that trend. Yeah. We'll see if they're brave enough to venture out once Parasite respawns and the Strider's stop coming. Uh, if they, you know, it, they were able to win because of that, that one fight, but we'll see. You know, we'll see if they're able to pull it off again, especially without the help of their Guardian. But I anticipate them to just give up Parasite again. I think they know they need at least one more wipe in base in order mm -hmm. before they can start really pushing back out. All the buffs going to Spirit Side. It's gonna get that power on Dibs, probably. Or Ornissa, I guess. And, and the Dibs picks another risky thing because, uh, you know, so much hinges on him landing those Qs. Yeah, and in those chaotic team fights. Yeah. If he doesn't hit those Qs, that's so much of their damage potential just completely gone. Take a look at the, uh, the items here before this next fight. Look at the size of that dip shield. He's getting big. It's pretty big. Uh, now that he does have the wisdom as well. Yeah. You know, with so much flat power, it's uh. <clears throat> and Parasite's coming up soon. Spear side go looks to be in a better position. Plus, they have the wards on both entrances of uh, Mortal Side's base, so they'll know. Not much to talk about. <laughs> yeah, they're just just farming, biding their time. Everyone getting to level twenty. Spirit Side is all level twenty except for two players. So we'll see if they set up a uh, pick here. But I don't. I don't think Mortal Team's gonna fall for it. I think they're just gonna give this Parasite up. Yeah, I don't think they care. I, I mean, they've they've won without Parasite up until this point, as far as these uh, base engages have gone. How interesting. Bit of a dance party. Mm -hmm. Ah, there's the Parasite. Coming back to life. Ooh, the rubber band neck. And look how quickly this parasite is gonna fall. The spirit team has slain the parasite. <laughs> so now spirit team trying to get as much power as they can before this next fight here in the base. They know they're going to have the Striders there helping them. They want uh, the the best items they can afford right now to help them close out the game. They've been stalled in the Mortal Side base. Although I don't think they've been necessarily winning the entire time. Um, they've just they've just been pushing more effectively yeah. because of the Mina Dibs like you were saying in the mid game. <clears throat> yep. The mortal team has captured It's gonna be interesting to see who comes out on top here. Icely Pan's still a little behind on items, but Chibi's got five items. To Xanarate six. Xanarate with the justice pickup. He's gonna hit like a truck. Yep, Chibi's right. They just gotta dodge that hook. Dodge yeah. that hook. And then uh dodge the Zagas chains too. I mean that's it's easier said than done. Yep. See Fluffy with the Valor pickup and a Resolve, so he's he's looking to just be a tank, which is not it's not completely like you th most of the time you think tanks are supposed to have. Ferris does not have a lot of utility, but he does have percent HP damage on his Q, which is why the longer he stays alive, the longer he's auto attacking, the more damage he's doing. So it's uh it's definitely another approach to tanking, and it can work. He can eat up a lot of damage. Spirit side trying to slowly push their way into this base and yep. take down everything again. Uh, they don't want to get caught in a bad position here. So they're just those... going to meticulously take these cores out one by one. Yeah, the front three are very easy to take, but once you have to start funneling into those choke points to get the other three, it gets pretty scary. Oh, and 
I mean, this is taking Good for us there from quick Shane. combo with some help from the Reaper Beam. Zoning all part of the map, and Eveniscus got stunned at the end of it inside of the Reaper Beam. Yeah, not sure they can let those cores go down. They're gonna, they're gonna have to fight. They're gonna have to fight on this uh, laser core. Yeah, without a doubt. Reaper Beam needed alive. Look for a big Renzo Wolf from Gatsby. Oof. Shay land the nice uh, title oh, prison. Here uh oh, and here it is. Corruption's caught out. Oh, but he blitzes to safety. That could have gone really bad for Spirit Side. Yeah, but that's his blitz. We'll see. Uh... Reaper Beam hook. again, oh, and the hook gets Shay, but she blinks immediately out of it. A masterpiece from Renzo, but Spirit Side looks to be getting the better of this fight. A Riptide comes out late from Tactician Everett, then it knocks up one person, but they pick up Shivy, and that is going to be trouble. Oh, and they all heal off the Locust, and oh, man, that was the nightmare damage we were talking about yeah. from Dibs. That was... And it, passed, it passed through the chains of Zalgus, too. Make no mistake that Power Dibs uh, certainly paying dividends here in the late game, combined with Xanarain, and now they turn their focus on to the Guardian. Oh, really, really... Oh, my God, do you see the nightmares blowing up? Yep. Oof. Shivy Very good game. 100% to 80 or to 20% to one Oh yeah, good game. Very that methodically was... played by Spirit, Spirit yeah. Team. Yeah, they didn't panic. You know, they were losing fights in the in the base, yet they didn't panic. They they stuck to their plan, and uh, you know they, they went back to like, fine, we'll get this parasite. We lost this other parasite. We'll get this one. We'll go back. We'll shop. We'll get as strong as possible. Well, you know, the the four of them went down into the bottom lane, pushed that up while Drago on dibs pushed up top lane so they had the most amount of striders possible. Um, and they took out the cores one by one. They had what looked to be a bad engage, but they, they regrouped and repositioned and, and then were able to turn the fight and just so much damage coming out from those dibs nightmares along with a six item Nisa that uh, just was yeah, too much. <clears throat> So I think I'm going to host one more uh, and then take a little bit of break before uh, Money Pigs gets going. Sounds good. Same room, same name, same password. Same, same, same. Go back to the tunes. Looking to fill about three more spots. Thank you guys for playing. For those of you who have to leave, uh, we appreciate you guys coming by, playing in these in-houses. Yeah, it's been fun. Casting is so much fun, I had no idea. <laughs> yeah, man, it is. And Dawn Gate's a, a, a fun game to cast. It is. A lot of action. Except in those Turtle Gate games. That's, well, yeah, that's they get a little... But you know what? It was... While, yes, there was a lot of turtling happening that game, but we saw the answer to it. Like, I I'm kind of glad it went that way, because it was like one of those things where it's like, it's, you could watch that game and be like, oh, you see how effective turtling is, and it's like, well, no, you just have to go about it a different way. You can't go into the base all willy-nilly and, and and just assume your, your team's going to come through at the end. It's got to be... In the way that you go into planning your laning phase in the mid-game, you have to go into closing out the game the same way. Yep. And it was illustrated perfectly by the Spirit Team last game. Yeah, I mean, that was it was a huge uh, advantage for the Spirit Team coming into that base, but they still lost the fight. So it goes to show you, you know, with the correct engage under with lasers, like, never lose hope. There's always a chance to come back.
We got some people on the way. See if we can get this to fill up. Yeah, it might be short some people. A lot of people want to eat. And... Yeah, we've been playing for a good amount here. <clears throat> yeah. Almost three and a half hours. Good games all around. Yeah. It's been fun. I see some high-level people in this chat that could definitely come play. Hmm. <clears throat> I don't know, Scraggy. What do you think? Thank you. I think we might be a short of people this time around. Um, that's all right. Well... Here's Maybe what you get an ex do. extra long dinner before Money Pigs. Yeah, it could be that. Um, or we could start pulling in from chat, I guess. Yeah, but... I think I'm going to do that. Since we're in the last game, I'll just throw it up. So, guys, the password to the to the room is there in chat if you want to join. Pandora's box is opened. <clears throat> so, a little fun game here at the end. We'll see if people want to come and join. Well, we've got a full group. I think we're going to, uh, no, no draft mode or any of that this time. It might just be too much. All right. So, um, um what's balanced teams look like? I don't know if I like that one. Um, I don't know. This is a bit of a... Yeah, it's going to be a mismatch no matter what way we do it. Um... What if we do... That? And... Well, that's, uh, that's pretty one-sided there. Let's see. Oh, yeah, there you go. That might be all right. Yeah, we're just going to blind pick it up. Okay. <coughs> so we're going to rock uh, with the people here. So thank you guys from chat for coming in and filling out here. This is probably going to be the last game until Money Pigs. Because i got to take a little bit of break from Dawn Gate. As much as I love all of you losers. But uh, here we go. No bans, just full-on blind pick shenanigans here. A little cool-down game. Yeah, let's see, what we, let's see what we get. Some Zeri picks. All right.
Spirit team, not quite sure what they're going to pick. People are all over the place here and there yeah. in the beginning. All right, so some teams are shaping up here now. Yeah, no no global ban for Sakari. If they want to play it, they could play it. I could I really don't care. But looks like everyone's going to keep relatively salt free. Two Vianas. That is not the expected mirror match, but it will be one. A little Tess. A little Gladiator Zalgus. All right. Viana. Two, double Viana picks. Yeah, right. Yagachu on the jungle desecrator. That's always a fun one to see. He's going to just farm and farm and farm. I was going to say, I haven't seen him uh, play jungle desi before, so. Yeah. Amoniscus on Dibs and Crucial on Salus. It'll be interesting to see the levels of aggression difference between Salus and Desecrator. Desecrator, a very passive jungler, but also very hard to kill. Mm -hmm. All right. So here we go. Start of the game here. Opens. Ooh, that Viana skin on Corruption. Styling. The Stintia overwhelms. Alright, starting items still looking pretty standard. Life's resiliences and hungers. 30 seconds until minions spawn. Yagachu getting the aggressive ward out. Yep. On the armor buff, he wants to start power his destiny as usual. Mm -hmm. Probably get a full clear. And Master G doing the same. Minions. But overall, a, a lack of wardage for Spirit Team. Yeah, just the uh, just the one, or maybe there's two. Is that one up there? I can't really tell right now. Bot money pigs and then the top armor buffs. Yeah. So. They don't seem too concerned with vision. You know. Who needs it? Fiona going out to ward. Interesting to see how this Kindra synergizes with the Viana. Just hold somebody down and blow them up. Yeah. How interesting. Um, and you know, the uh the, the, the shield from Viana's leech is gonna synergize nicely with uh, the night strike healing. Oh yeah. So it could help for trades later on. And Xanarate and Evaniscus are already pushing uh, Kendra Amaranth under turret. But Xanarate taking a free turret shot. Of course the Vianas have to lane against one another. I know. <laughs> A big difference in uh, skill choices there. You see Corruption taking E first mm -hmm. for the shield, which is arguably be definitely better for trading. You just shield yourself, walk just, up, auto attack a bunch of yeah, times. Yeah, just in Viana's Q, the needle is it's so hard to hit. Yeah, and if you end up missing, it it's just, yeah, it's, just, it's a net loss no matter yeah. what. <laughs> oh, and Tyler and all with the exceed pickup. Hey, he's just really manly. Trying to claim that it's a misclick, but no, no, he's just that manly. I love, I love Exceed. I wish Exceed had its own spellbook slot and everyone got it. <laughs> and it was just a thing where when you choose to use it throughout the game, it's just, I, I love it. It's a it's a great spell, like, on those burst mages, like, I don't know if people use it. But, like, you land that chain E ult combo with Exceed running, it's like... No matter, life will keep you alive. Good chain from Tyler and all. Putting their ass down of shame, but Viana v Viana. See if anybody dies. The only time usually people die is when the jungler shows up. 
So, I mean, this just takes a combo from Tyrese. That's going to do a nice chunk of his damage. About 33% of his health lost uh, right away in level 3. And there's a judgment from Crucial Master G. But Shay wisely blinks before he's able to land the Penance. Yeah, and so she is extraordinarily vulnerable to ganks now. Um, Viana is incredibly weak in lane, has low resists. Um, and so you're definitely going to see Stylus coming back bot lane. And if, here we see for the first time today, the jungler's starting on the same side of the map. Or actually, no, they start opposite, but... Is, is the camera going to take us down there? there? <laughs> no, camera says no. The, there's no fight happening and we don't yeah. care. I don't know who got the pigs, but Yagashi definitely came out ahead and helped. Mm -hmm. I don't know if Crucial maybe Spite stole the, uh, or Vanquish stole the, um, Money Pig, the big one. But the, the Mortal Team bot lane is definitely, I think, coming ahead in these trades. Yeah, uh, it seems to be the case, at least early on, at least in the farming, uh, it's definitely the case. Yeah. Tylenol doing, uh, uh, a little bit better than Tess at this moment in time. Kendra with only with 28 CS, second most, or third most in the game, I guess. So she's being able to keep up with CS decently well. But still, the aggression in this lane is just crazy. Here comes Yagachu looking to go the long way around and catch him underneath. Good idea from the spirit side to engage here. Xanarate's progress gate is now down. Can Yagachu yeah. get there in time? I think he's going to sneak up. He gets Xanarate with a knockup, forces him to blink out. Eveniscus blinks as well. So he burns two blinks with that gank. So uh, not a waste of time. Not at all. At yeah. all. Tylenol and really? a nice chain and the Great Rift. Yeah, Yagashu being just very dominant. Here. Oh, but he's a little overextended uh -oh. over there. Uh-oh. Camera. Camera takes us there. Now we're here. The knockups, Yagachu using Death Fog and trying to keep them bottled up here. Tyrese is here, but the Ugger Camp is in the way. He can't oh, land. Yeah. Cruiser Master G, nice job of using the Ugger Camp to body block. Dibs hits him with a Dream Wrap, lets him run away. Xanarate, the drain is ticking down. Can Kendra Shadow Step come off of cooldown? Will it come off of cooldown? But it doesn't have to because Night Strike picks it up. And with the resets, Taiga, Tyrese picks up the kill on Eveniscus. Yeah, and Yagachu just showing dominance with the Desecrator. Knocks up all three people who are chasing him, shutting down the chase, giving time for his lane to rotate and save him, and pick up two kills. A, a good uh, heads up play by Crucial Master G, using the Ugger Camp to avoid Tyrese's bubble combo. And then Eveniscus actually landed a Dream Wrap on him and it allowed uh, Crucial Master G on Salus to escape what would have been certain death. Yeah. And now we see uh, two kills on Kinjura. One kill, one assist. Yeah, she's gonna start start snowballing. So it uh, begins. Always careful about Kinjura. I think Salus really needs to make use of the Shams Blink being down to get some kills to bot lane. And actually, he might. She's she's warding at the perfect time now. Although that ward on Money Pigs is not gonna give vision of Salus rotating up through the lane. No. So she's extraordinarily vulnerable to ganks. Tess rotating top. Now, this is this is good test place. Oh, and here it is. They're on to Shea now. There's the laser, and Crucial Master G picks it up with the second cast of Judgment. And good play from Salus there. He knew he had to make that happen, and he did. And a good chain from Zogus. Good timing, too, because uh, Tess had just gone top to ward, which is, mm -hmm. you know, it's a really good thing to do with Tess, but perhaps Shea should have backed off the lane knowing that Tess had left. But uh, Yagachu knows top lane, Xanarate, and Eveniscus both are, do not have blinks, and they're playing highly aggressive in this lane, so ganks are possible. Risk. And and the ward is in lane. Ooh, Tyrese goes in aggressive on a Xanarate, lands a beautiful combo, and follows up with a Riptide. Eveniscus trying to pick up Tyrese, but now Kendra just doing everything she can. I think he's going to be able to escape thanks to Dream Wrap, so. Oh, and he's changing the aggression. Here comes Tess with Mount Up, but Salus is here as well. She drops Heavy Iron, but there's no one there to follow up. Yeah, big combo there from Tyrese. Mm -hmm. Just laying down that Amaranth damage on, uh, on Xanarate. Riding the wave.
Let's see, Shea, I'm potentially getting caught out here by corruption. Nope, she's gonna wisely back off. Rotate through haste area. Back to her lane. Yagshu happily just farming up on Desecrator. Yeah. Like That's I've said, one thing to keep an eye on. He does have his first might. She's gonna be looking to finish the second one pretty soon here. Although it's still pretty early in the game. Yeah, when he when he gets um destruction. I'm not sure actually what he's going to build, but when he gets destruction and that decay, like he's gonna be doing so much damage. The sooner he does the better. Tylenol getting some damage on that Zalgus. With that Ravager loadout and exceed and an early aggression. I mean, if he catches Tess um, alone, I think you would have enough burst to take her down. But look at Yagachu lurking. He's level 10. Did he pick up Blink? Mm, I don't know. He picked up Blink. Oh, yeah. He's looking okay. to make those Death Strider Blink plays. Them, them big claps. <laughs> the big claps. So much damage. Okay, here comes Dibs flying down. They look to catch Yagachu here. He's oh, going to he be. gets the E. Oh, there's Death Fog, Viana lands the Sanguinate and the full combo from uh, Tyler Knoll, but he gets knocked up. Meanwhile, Kusha Master G looking to give chase. He's locked onto Tess right now. Shay uses her X Sanguinate and has to blink away. And it looks like they have a nice disengage here, and Mortal won't get anything for this. Pull back. Yep. Salus using all of his TC on that Tess. Yagashu able to get away. He saw the amount of damage that he did by himself on the Dibs and mm -hmm. on the Viana. I believe it was Viana and Zalgus who were chasing. Yeah. QE ults. They were both down to 40%, so he's already doing a lot of damage. You and that might also give some HP. Yeah, interesting, interesting choice there. It's, it's for sustain in the jungle. Mm -hmm. um, I don't I don't usually do that, but you can totally can. It's so that he can farm and just basically stay at full health all the time. They must fall. Crucial Master G looking to use Tyler Knoll as bait. He goes in on Shay. Nice follow up with the chain and the great rift. And Crucial Master G picks up Viana. Yeah, once again, Viana, when she doesn't have blink, she's sitting down. Yeah, no ult, no blink. Blinks. She just used them about 20 seconds earlier. Yeah, Crucial Master G doing a good job camp in that lane. Keeping his team in the game. And again, I mean, Viana's a scaler. Like, when she gets light, she gets tanky and a lot of health. Her heals and, and you see these team fights are gonna last forever. Mm -hmm. But uh, and, and same with Zalgus. Zalgus big big scaling damage. So we'll see you know, who's gonna scale harder. They got dibs as well. Yeah, this is still anybody's game. Very yeah. even so far. Embrace and Yagashu does not have blink, so his playmaking potential is pretty low right now. Although he is super high level, but I don't think anybody can really fight him one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. In fact, nobody can fight him one-on-one, -on -one, at least not yet. Oh. See bot lane wisely uh, sort of rotating, trying to counter the aggression, trying to stay relevant. Zanary gets hit with a big combo on the Riptide, and now he's going to get picked up by Luke at me now on Kendra, who's looking to go for more. Will they dive Evaniscus? No. I think they still could. Tyrese, once again. I know, Tyrese. He's just got to wave rider in and land that combo. It should be it should be pretty free. Yeah. Eh, electing not. Maybe they don't know where the jungler is, and they're afraid of the, uh, the Crucial Master G counter gank. But there's the bubble combo. Oh, the bubble hit the minion instead of Dibs. Now, Crucial Master G gets caught out underneath. He's going to get locked down by Desecrator, but uh, Tess picks up the kill thanks to the ult from from Salas, yeah. stunning everyone else. Definitely pretty caught out sitting in that bush while his, his lane rotated away from him. Not, maybe a bit of miscommunication there from mm. the team. And now Tyler now forced to just farm into turret and try and stay safe. Young are going to get some counter jungling in. That hey, haste puff is up and he knows it. Yagachu is just kind of, no one pay attention to me, I'm just gonna far. He's going to emerge from the jungle a beautiful butterfly. He is, yes. <laughs> he's in his chrysalis fighting his time. He is cocooning hard, ready to metamorphosize. Ooh, just misses the desecrated ground. See, Tess rotating up through a ward. 
She keeps looking for these uh, rotations on her bike up top lane, but they're doing enough work up there by themselves. Tyrese with those waves. Look at him, he's just completely zoning. Yeah. Sandra and this is off the wave by him, so. And he's uh, he's pretty strong right now. He's got his destruction, and Kendra also has a destruction, so both of those yeah. mages top lane are just are, are gonna be a nightmare for any squishy to deal with, so yeah. Dibs and Varian are in are in big trouble now. A lot of damage in that lane. So here we see uh, Crucial walking through that ward behind Whoa. his turret to go to his armor belt. That, that might have been a fat is... finger ultimate from Tess. Right. Yeah. Well, as they say, shit happens. Mm-hmm. Crucial Master G uh, top lane was pushed off his armor buff. Wisely, he backs off instead of fighting it. He just knows that top lane is lost. And Yaga uh, any, is just going to bigger and oh, bigger. Yeah. So, good play from Yaga Chief. Stolen two buffs so far. Possibly three. I didn't see if he got the power buff on him, but Crucial Master G is now behind. Definitely behind. Super behind. Compared to Lee. Yep. About three levels, actually. Holy crap. Yeah, Yagashu out of control. Oh man, the blink bubble combo yeah. from but the shield Tyrese. Yeah, the, the shield did nice to prevent the Amaranth damage. Too bad Kendra was right there to come in and clean it up. So there you have it, folks. That's tactician play. Get blink, make plays. Yep. That's why tacticians are the playmakers more than the supports. <laughs> Crucial looking to make a gank onto this sham. Can he land this Q? Ooh, he, he got does. it! Oh, Dibs is flying down though. Did he? He didn't. Uh, he, oh, he re-engaged, but a nice blink from Shay after the fact. Corruption uses a blink of his own to land the desanguinate, and then Tylenol picks it up on Zalgus. Poor Shay. <laughs> yep, getting camped. Life she, of Fiona. Yeah, she, I mean she did. She did a nice job of blinking first, but then the, spirit the enemy team has blinked too. So. Oh, well. yep. Now, Satai wisely being cautious about a potential dive here, but they're just going to go into the counter well. And so we're going to see a trade in Wells here, which is, which is good for the mortal team. It keeps mm -hmm. them in this game a bit. Yeah, it does. The mortal team Tyrese with no blink. Well. Not sure what he can do here. Yeah, no blink, no ult. I mean, they have the right shapers snowballing, though, uh, Spirit Side. Yeah. You know, Desecrator, Amaranth, and Kindra. Are, are are going to to be the yep. the big the big de damage dealers the big factors in these next fights. Um, Tess will get there eventually. Ooh, man, Tess just ate a great rift with a nightmare stack on her, and it brought her down to below half health. Kendra's rotating down though. This could be a four v five at the disadvantage of the mortal team. There's crucial, but he doesn't want to go in on a level thirteen yeah, desecrator. Do not take that cue, crucial. Uh oh, Tyler, oh, Tyler caught out. Uh, oh, the bubble misses. And then the tailwind gets him to safety. Meanwhile, Varian doing mushroom camps up there. He needs to be either taking that top well or yep. pushing that turret. Probably yep. the well, because I don't think he's going to kill that turret. He's not, and he looks to be indecisive here. Ugh. Oh, and the Riptide knocks up Zalgus with a bubble be enough to kill him, but Tyler actually gets the kill before the bubble will kill him, and if bubble actually didn't kill him, so worked out nicely for him. Tyrese tried to make a play. Yeah, by himself. Hoisted by his own petard, as they say. <laughs> and Xanary is able to take top turret. So now, that well. yeah, it's now it works out well for the mortal side. You see a complete map trade of Wells. But he's not going to take it. He's doing fish camps. I don't know what he's afraid of. There's four people know. showing bottom, and the other one's dead. There is no one. To, they want to push the binding. They don't want the well, so. Binding has been destroyed. Yeah, I guess not that's. Sure. I'm honestly not sure what Kirk plays there, but I'm pretty sure it's well. I would. They're going to get that binding eventually. Yeah, yeah. I'm with you there. And, now they're, and they're not even going to get the binding. And they're not going to get the well either, so definitely the poor choice. I'm not going for a drink as far as you. And Spirit Team's going to go buy, spend this, spend the money. 
See, Tess is going with a standard AD camera. She picks up a dominance and a time in one buy. She was sitting on some money. Oof. Straight up auto dominance, but the real, yeah. the the real issue now. I mean, Yagachu, Strife, Decay, Ambitions. So he's he is set with his core. Luke at me now. Um, also almost there as well. Once he finishes Chaos, he'll be cored up. Uh, Tyrese doing the same thing. So a lot of damage for the spirit side. A lot of magic damage for the spirit side. But uh, you can't yeah. ignore the fact that Tess now has a dominance. So she's going to start honestly, to hurt. This is the first time I think we've seen a standard AD carry te test build. Usually you see Tess played as Tactician. Mm -hmm. A lot of people in these games. But um, yeah, this is going to be interesting to see That's how that, it works out. It's that high level bias. It's true. We only it's true. Uh, Sometimes, sometimes the you know people get caught into an echo chamber. We need the we need the newcomers, the new blood to come in here and shake things up, and show people yeah. that there are more viable sure. options than just what are the popular choices. So, yeah, we'd love to see. Kudos to Sultai for showing up here and doing some nice work on gladiator tests. And this is going to be an interesting pair of fight. Mm -hmm. Yagachu with a huge amount of zone potential on Desecrator. Got to be looking at... But they're not in a oh. great position here. I Meniscus gets caught up by Desanguinate. He flies back to his team. But that's largely wasted. Uh, oh, but the no Nightmare damage. pop damage. And the laser picks up the Tess on the back line. Oh, and he just misses hitting Luke at me now. And now Corruption goes in with Blitz. Desanguinate's Amaranth. She's going to look to land a Riptide. Uh-oh. Kindra on the back line. She got one, two, three, four. Looking for the Omni. Will she get the Omni? She got the Tetra. Let her get it. Oh, no. Oh, God. He's gonna run! Oh no, the Parasite! Oh, it didn't finish. That would have been amazing, but a very nice heads up play from Kendra to now, go in big. There, what you saw there was just really poor positioning for the <laughs> mortal team. They walked through that little corridor between the lane and the and that bush on top of three Desecrator ults, which were shredding MR, doing percent HP damage, and Kendra just came in, kept them in that area. Yeah, they, they were a little thirsty for blood. Uh, yeah, that, side. Was, that was too much chase, too much chase, but yeah, good to see Yagachi using those walls wisely, got him right in that corridor. Yeah, either way, um, uh, if, if it wasn't going to be from the, the Desecrator ults, uh, uh, Amaranth was there as well. She actually didn't even use, or, or she had the, the, the Riptide, and then by the time oh, Kinter yeah. got there, it was like, ugh. It was done deal at that point. So spirit side taking advantage here um, as we start to move towards the late game. Not Wells are traded yet. back. Yeah. And now Mortal gonna look to just farm these striders. The Try not to get picked off. Well. They have playmaking the potential with Dibs and the Zalgus and all that and Bianca with Blink, but we'll see if uh, the spirit team gives them those opportunities. Tyrese Still wisely warning that advanced bush, yeah. Oh, Yagachu a bit caught out in the middle, but they can't really follow up on that. Nah. It might actually end up being Viana caught out in Evanistus. Uh oh, Corruption gets hit and I'm knocked up. Uses Blink to get away. Kindred tried to collapse as well. Death Fog is used from Desecrator. Yeah, so those those ults are on cooldown in exchange for Viana Blink, but they're gonna get this turret, I think, because of the pressure, because Evanistus is forced to back off. We'll see if Zalgus and, and Varian are able to clear these waves fast enough, but I don't think so, not with the Striders. They should be able to take this. Ooh, Tyrese lands a nice bubble combo below the Binding followed up with the Night Strike from uh, Kendra. Big chain on Shay. Oh no! Oh, oh, she blinks to avoid, but uh, oh. she still drops from the Binding. I think it was the Evaniscus E as well. Yeah, interesting. Tylen off pretty low. He's kind of back out of the play. Oh, Tyrese low. lands the bubble combo on Evaniscus. Will he live through it? And now here's Kendra. Here she gets Kendra, locked down. Oh, this Crucial Master G, he's living through thanks to the leech from Viana. Keep Crucial Master G alive. 
And there's that Viana pick coming in handy against the Assassins. Kendra goes all in, puffs Blitz. Should not have been locked down, but suppression wins. Mm -hmm. I've got this. Tie. What, what heads up play there for Corruption? Saving his ult for that Kendra. And that's gonna put us some doubt into Luke, uh, Luke at me now's mind. Yeah. He's, he's, he's gonna remember that. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, that's what Viana does in the same way that, um, you know, Rhett, we were talking uh, in, in the previous games about Renzo being the uh, being a backline support and doing really well against assassins. Well, Viana is that even more so, um, just b by by virtue of you know an assassin usually has to put himself in a bad position in order to blow somebody up, and Viana can punish him even more by just immediately locking down any assassin who uh, who dives that that deep. Yeah, and you might even just. Oh, he didn't even have Blitz. I thought I saw Blitz on him. Wouldn't have mattered. Wouldn't have mattered. I was going to say, he might want to consider just selling that and picking up uh, Stasis or something. Yep. So, Mortal Team staying alive. Let's see right. what the Ivanas are building. It's always an interesting thing to look at. Shayam goes for the corruption for that mortal strike. Mortal strike gonna be huge, obviously, because of the dip shields, the gun shields, the gun heals, etc. Um, however, Xanarate picking up pain for his team, so both teams have mortal strike. Shayam definitely on the squishier side. Ooh, Tyler getting caught out. Tess drops the heavy iron and. Uh... They're gonna look, look to give chase here damage. on the spirit side. A riptide from Tyree stocks up two people. Eveniscus has to blink away. Kendra's there. She gets suppressed underneath the binding yet again. Yeah, that slows down that the resets, but a mortal binding has too much was, too much, too much uh, had happened earlier out. on. Yeah, the desecrator just catching up everybody there. And the death fog doing so much damage on the like just chasing them down. Yeah, Yagachu is uh, it's pretty big. <laughs> Level 18, three, three, four tier three items. And then they're gonna look up to pick up Parasite. Pretty much uncontested. I don't think there's anything Zanny Ray can do about this. Alright, Spirit the Team parasite. gets the Parasite. Yep, they're gonna look to uh, probably back and buy. Maybe pick up some buffs and then push hard. Pick those tier 3 sound and crack that base. Which is not always easy to do, but I think they have a pretty good team for it. Yeah, they seem to be getting the picks that they need. Um, and if they just continue doing that, they'll. Uh, the, oh no. Oh no! Oh, no. How, what? That's six cents. What? He had a good feeling it was getting stolen, and when he went to the queue, didn't see it was there. He yeah. Was, was going on. 